On a cold and windy February afternoon 50 years ago, the late Paul Bickle soared into the stratosphere with one goal in mind, to set a world altitude record for unpowered sailplanes. Bickle, then director of NASA's Flight Research Center at Edwards Air Force Base and president of the Soaring Society of America, was an avid and accomplished sailplane pilot who devoted every weekend to soaring. Former NASA research pilot Einar Enneboldsen, a record-setting sailplane pilot himself, noted at a recent colloquium that Bickel knew what he wanted to do and didn't exceed what he knew he could do. Prepared very thoroughly, and it was um, a conservative, test pilot-like uh, engineering approach to the, the problem. And Paul had excellent eyes, and he certainly had the competitive instinct and the flying talents. Could have been a, a great fighter pilot. In just over two hours, Bickel and his Schweitzer 123 sailplane were back on the ground after reaching an altitude of 46,267 feet, a record that would stand for 25 years. The Schweitzer has been preserved by his family and was on display during the colloquium at NASA's Dryden Flight Research Center. Seeing the aircraft in which Bickel's record was achieved and comparing it to more current, high-performance sailplanes, his record is all the more remarkable. Bickle's eldest son, Hugh, recalled that Bickle's tenure at the helm of the NASA Field Center was marked by amazing advances in aeronautical achievement. During his career, Paul Bickle helped to move aviation from 450 miles an hour to 4,500 miles an hour, and from 60,000 feet to the edge of space. Not a bad life, both at home and at work. The outstanding safety record and the broad knowledge gained from the research done during Dad's 12 years as director can only be attributed, and he would be the first one to say this, to the NASA engineers, pilots, and technicians who devoted their working lives to the advancement of av aviation.